Will you supersize your business through thick and thin? This is a thin piece of wood. This is a thick piece of wood. I'm Martha, just so that you would know the difference. Sharon Horn Nelson here, and our idiom today is through thick and thin. This idiom has been around since the 1300s. It actually dates back to the 1300s, which is much older than I thought it was. And the the meaning has remained pretty much the same. When it's used uh, literally, you would think that thick things are better and thin things are worse, right? Uh, if you've got a thick bank, thick wallet, that's better than a thin wallet, right? But it refers to um, a people's commitment to staying together, staying in a relationship, and we're focusing on relationships for this year's annual challenge, the Get Your Goals annual challenge. We're focusing on relationships this month, and business is all about relationships. I don't know if some people don't realize that it is, but it absolutely uh, positively is. It's about our relationships with the people that we interact with, that we work with, the people we partner with, our vendors, our, uh, our customers, right? The people that we're here to serve. Business is an exchange of value and all about relationships. And that's true of whatever business you're in. I can't think of a single business that isn't about exchanging value and relationships. And we do business with people we know, like, and trust, which is based on our relationship with them generally. So this idiom actually means the opposite of what the words mean, just like all idioms, not all idioms, they don't all mean the opposite, they mean something different than the words taken individually. This one is when things are thick, that means that they're difficult or challenging. When things are thin, it means they're going really well and you're clicking along in your business. So it just reminds us to persevere through the ups and downs of any relationship, especially those in our business. I have yet to meet a successful business owner, and I'm not gonna say someone that's quit or, or failed in their business, because we all have failures and successes in our businesses, but I have yet to personally meet or come in contact with a business success or a person that has a successful business that has not had ups and downs in their business. So. We need to know that we're going to stick through it. We're going to persevere. We're going to do whatever it takes to figure out the problems and the challenges and the situations and the setbacks and the obstacles and the law changes and the political changes and whatever things outside of us we don't have any control of, how we're, our business is going to not only sustain but maintain and grow and supersize through those changes and challenges. So today, I would love if some people would share <clears throat> some of the challenging times that your business has gone through, that you've had to persevere. I, I can think of literally thousands and thousands, if not tens of thousands of challenges and setbacks and, and things that my businesses, my different businesses have had to uh, weather, you know, ordinance changes in the city, de jealous competitors in a community, a small community that decided that everything that happened in the community that they thought was bad was due to one of the businesses that I was a partner in. Things like that, having to sue the city for liquor licenses. All kinds of crazy things <clears throat> that happen when we're in business. Things that we don't even imagine. How many of us predicted COVID-19? I know I certainly didn't, and like most everyone else on the planet, it had an impact not only on my personal life, but on my businesses as well. And we had to figure out what were we going to do during those changes that were outside of our control to continue to not only survive, but to thrive and build and grow our businesses. So share one thing that your business has been through or persevered. I remember back in 2008 and 2009, when the banks were in trouble, they automatically closed and called all of the, the notes on small businesses and I happened to have a bunch of small businesses back then which made it really challenging to figure out how are we going to juggle all this how are we going to make it work of course we did make it work but uh, it was very stressful at the time so that's it that's our idiom for today through thick and thin will you stick it through supersizing and growing your business through the good times and the bad the 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 thin and the thick I hope so uh, have an awesome day if I can help you anyway ask otherwise I will be with you tomorrow with another interesting idiom what does it mean? Where does it come from? And how might you use it to grow and supersize your business right now? Have a great day.